Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. This video is going to be all about baskets. I love baskets. My husband might even call me a basket hoarder, but I just cannot pass up a nice basket when I see it at a garage sale or a thrift store. They're so expensive in the retail stores and I just love picking them up. I have them in every single room of my house to put blankets in towels, plants, all of my indoor plants and outdoor plants are in a basket. And just for seasonal decor or decor on the entertainment center and shelves, they are in every room of my house. I love them. I forgot to do a before, before video of all what they look like ahead of time. You know, I just got started working and I didn't think about it. But most of them are distressed, so you'll kind of be able to imagine what they look like before. I'm just going to go through each one and tell you what I did to it to get the effect that it has. Now, if you're going to be doing projects, even if it's for yourself, I highly recommend investing in a spray gun. This one, oh, sorry, this one is only $16.99 from Harbor Freight, so it's not a big investment. And a quart of chalk paint is $19.99. And let me tell you, your first spray, you'll get your money back because that quart of paint will go so much longer with the spray gun than it will with brushing. I've tried to brush um, baskets before and I just can't get the same effect as I can with a spray gun. It just gets in every nook and cranny and goes so much faster. You will need an air compressor for this. So if you already have one, you don't need to worry about it. You just hook it up to your air compressor. It is worth it. I can't believe I waited so long to get one of these. It has made my life so much easier. All my projects are much faster when I spray them. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through and tell you what I did to each basket. I don't know how many I have, but I'm really challenging myself to pull stuff out of my attic and either put it in my house or sell it. So I fixed all these up. I kept the ones that I wanted and I'm selling the ones that I still love, but I don't have a spot for. I mean, you can only have so much stuff in your house, right? And I'll be able to find more if I want more. This one is one of my favorites. I just love the design of this one. And I just taped off the top and the bottom. So the whole thing was about this darker brown color. And I taped that off because I wanted to keep that and I sprayed the middle and then distressed it slightly. I love the way this one came out and it's kind of this shape. Really cute. This one was a tray and it was like this bright blue color. So I sprayed it white and I did distress it a little bit. So a little bit of that blue comes out on the edges. And then I decided to write something in the middle. So I wrote bless this nest and I put some little greenery right here. And I love the way this looks. So I think you could hang this on the wall or you can use it as a tray on a table. Either way it would work, but it's super cute. I love the way that came out. This one, I sprayed it white. And then if you watch my antiquing concoction video, you can get that same effect using a gray chalk paint as well. So that's kind of what I did. I have a gray antiquing concoction. And so I spray painted it white. I put the gray over it to kind of give it a grayish look. And then for handles, I put some little oyster shells. So the handles are little oyster shells just for a little extra decoration. And I really like it. I think this would look cute in a bathroom with some towels or something in it. You could put, you know, uh, cotton balls, Q-tips, like a mix of jars with some towels. It's just a nice size basket to put somewhere. This entire basket was red. And then I spray painted it white and I wanted some of that red to come through. I think this will look good for year round, but I'm also thinking, you know, for Christmas as a centerpiece with some Christmas greenery in it or I like to put baskets around my Christmas tree and put my small stuff in it, like my little gift cards and my little gift bags and everything. Cause I, um, I wrap everything with that brown craft paper. So it looks really good just put in little baskets around the tree just to keep everything organized. So I really like this one. It's another nice shape for a table. 
This one I kept just the brown color. I really like the color brown. It's a nice shade already. So what I did was I had this ribbon, but it was like a burlap ribbon. So I just sprayed it with a spray gun. I sprayed it white, put that around it, then put some twine around it. And I think it's really cute. This you can decorate for the seasons or use year round. show y'all this one next so this one let me show you what it looked like before this is what it looked like before so not the best color brown I did not like it at all I didn't know where I was going with this one when I started but first I spray painted it white like the rest of them then I did the gray wash on it and then I wanted to add oysters so I just decided to glue oysters all along the edge and then I went back with some gold detail. So it's brown, it's white, it's gray, it's gold, it's just gorgeous. This will look great with a plant in it or just sitting on somebody's table. It's beautiful. I love this. And then I saw this little one that was basically the same. Now I did not do a gray wash on this one. I kept this one white. And I decided to put two oysters on top of it, kind of like a handle, and add the gold touches to it. And I think this came out really cute too. And if somebody wanted to put them together, they would look good together as well. I love using oysters as decoration. I don't know if it's a southern thing, but we, we like our oysters around here. They just They just look really beautiful when you put them on decor this is just a little basket it was like this dark brown but i wanted to update it a little bit so i sprayed it white i distressed it and then i put some like leftover sweater material i had so it's at the bottom and then i made two little handles for it and i just think this came out so sweet this would definitely look good for the fall winter season and you could change out what you put in it for the seasons or you could put it like if you got a coffee stand if you have like some hot chocolate since you know it has a sweater around it that would look cute a little hot chocolate uh, basket this is just a cute little wheelbarrow basket that I had that I sprayed white and distressed it I thought about putting stuff in it but I decided just to price it at a lower price and let somebody decorate it themselves, whatever they wanted to put in it. I think it will look cute in a foyer or entryway and you could change it out for the seasons, like put little pumpkins in it now. Then you could put like little Christmas trees and you could put little, um, little carrots or eggs, you know, it's just cute. love this basket this is a nice big basket I spray painted it white and then I did my brown antiquing concoction on it so it's like a little bit off white a little bit darker not so bright white and this size you could use for so many things you could definitely put it in a bathroom with a bunch of towels you could use it for Christmas you could put logs in it I mean it's is big so this is a nice one to use for all sorts of different things I love these little apple pail baskets I love the color of this one actually it was a little bit more like a reddish color and then I put my antiquing concoction on it I think, let's see if you can see the inside how it has like a little bit more of a reddish brown tint so once I put the antiquing concoction on the outside, it was a perfect shade of brown. And then I painted the handle white and distressed it a little bit and it came out perfect. I love it. This is definitely year round or seasonal. All you have to do is change it up for the seasons. You can put a ribbon on it. Super easy. I like stuff that you can use for all the seasons, but then also year round if you wanted to as well. This is just a little basket all I did was paint it white and distress it it's a nice size a nice shape and very sturdy it is a very nice basket this one's cute I also put my little antiquing concoction on this one to darken it up a lot it's just like a little pot made out of bark really cute this was just a plain wood basket 
that's what the color looked like just a little bit too light for me i like my baskets darker and antique looking if they're gonna stay brown and so i painted it white i distressed it a little and then i added these cute little jute rope panels on it and i think this is a nice size also for either a kitchen or a bathroom to put stuff in it's not too big but it's a nice oval shape that sits well on top of a counter this might be my favorite one so cute i don't have any other original color but you can kind of see it coming through it was like a darker brown but i knew this would look amazing white and then the stress and then if you put some greenery or uh, some bananas you know some fruit and stuff in it that it would just show through i love this one definitely my favorite the handles are cute up or down and I like an oval shape for on top of the counter. Super cute, even the bottom's cute. I like that, that pattern that it has. And this is not a basket, but I just wanted to show it to y'all anyway because I was really excited about how this came out. And I will definitely be looking at coffee pots in a different way. So I came across this one, it was one of, in one of my haul videos and look how cute it came out. I just love the shape of this pot. I don't know if it's common or not. I just saw it and really liked it, so I picked it up. This was gold, this part was gold, so I painted that white, and then I wrote grow on it. So I just I just stuck some plants, some fake plants in there to kind of show you what it could look like, but I think it would be so cute with the little succulent in it Either some dirt with a real succulent, or I was thinking you could put some coffee beans in it with a fake succulent. Wouldn't that be so cute? Either sitting, you know, in your kitchen or if you have a little coffee bar area. I love it. Like, I think like a little collection of these will look cute on a china cabinet. What do y'all think? Do y'all like this? Here, let me take this out so you can really see it. So you see what I mean? If you put a succulent in it, you'd just be able to see through it at the bottom. You could also put greenery in it or flowers if you want it, but I just had the idea with the succulent with the coffee beans and just thought that was adorable. The reason I did all these baskets is because I'm doing something for the first time tonight. I'm gonna to be doing a Facebook Live sale. So I sell my signs and all, and I do well with that, but I love collecting all these smalls. I love decorating with all these smalls, but they are a little bit harder to sell. I guess because they're not as expensive and people don't want to put the time and to come and pick them up and all. So I decided to just do a live sale where I have a bunch of them, offers deal, offer deals and discounts, and hopefully <clears throat> get rid of some of these smalls. And if it's successful, then I can keep doing it, which would be so exciting for me because this is what I enjoy doing, just finding these one-of-a-kind unique things and upcycling them, making them look cute, more my style. I hope this video has inspired y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you.